video is for 5616 Bocane Avenue in Los Angeles. 90016. It's a pretty simple home. Uh, three bed, two bath. Needs updating in all areas. There is an addition on the back that needs to be verified, but it looks to be of a good quality. I would assume it does have the benefit of permits. Here's your gas meter. I can't. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's screwed in there. In the rear is another way to see under the uh, crawl space. I always like to try and give you that view. It's underneath all the bedrooms. Not very informative there. We'll continue to look under the house where we can. This side door goes into a bedroom. The lots are slightly sloped here. Not a big deal. Coming up to the side, you don't have a fence here with your neighbor, but you would have room and plenty of room for a car to pass by. Here's underneath the living room. Still not very informative. This is underneath the kitchen. Driveway to a two car garage. You have sort of an improvised wood ramp here. Here's a view of the rear. This portion here would be the addition. It serves as a sort of a uh, displaced additional living room. Through here looking to see underneath what is the kitchen here. Let's see if we can get a view of anything. Here you go. That's probably the best view you're gonna get from the house. Okay. All right, starting back with the garage here. Here's your patio, your Dirt lot here. This is obviously an improvised, improvised uh, storage area behind the, the garage there. So you can see on the house where the addition kind of juts out from the chimney to the left. Uh, the electrical panel is on that exterior wall. Here's your potential driveway, short driveway pass through into the alley. Let me see if I can get a view underneath the house because this would be the additional area. Not much to see there. Newer electrical panel, 200 amp. There you go, and that's the water heater. There's nothing really to see on the other side of the house. Now we're gonna go back to the front door and uh, get the interior shot. wood facade here, security bars. Okay, so here we're at the front door and we're passing into the uh, living room. Uh, straight into the uh, dining room here. You can see this opening up potentially to get into the kitchen. Now 
Now this is where the addition begins because it does step down here. It does step down there. So that was obviously your original rear wall. This is about a uh, 12 by 14 space. Looks to be of good quality. It is functional. You do have a slider to the rear. This is a, a chimney that uh, otherwise wouldn't have been on the house at all. So if this was the rear wall, you have the master bed and bath over here. And it makes sense that that's all the addition ever was, was just that space. So to reorient, we're gonna go back to the front door here. Oh, I don't think I give you this view. Okay, so here's the main hallway. We have a bedroom, bedroom, master bed, bath, and the guest bath here. Wall heater is directly to my left. Bedroom number one. Closet is over there to the right. Bedroom number two. Closet here, door to the rear, or door to the side there. The layout here is a little bit unusual. Um, you know, you're passing through here. This is one way to get to the living room. You know, you're coming down this hallway into it, or you can go in the living room all the way around from the kitchen. So you sort of have this bathroom in the middle of the floor plan, if I show you like this. With this gone, you would have the kitchen wall, which is that, and it would be a little bit more open, but that's just something to consider. Okay. How to reorient, we got the two bedrooms here. Coming into this space here. This goes out to the living room and this is into the master. This is the closet space here, to the right only. Floor to ceiling. And your three quarter master bath. Okay, that's about it. I'll go ahead and end it with this view. Thank you.